by far the cleanest Xiaomi product that I have ever used. And bad jokes aside, this Miha electric toothbrush, it's the BET C01, BET01. I'll have the model name for it for you guys in the video right now. But for the price that I paid for this, which was like under $40, I think this toothbrush is a really, really good deal. There's a few things that delineate it from the more expensive versions of this toothbrush. We'll jump into that. We'll jump into my first kind of impressions with the device. What I think about it, is, a, is it a good deal? This is a smart electric toothbrush, but it is the cheapest or most like affordable version that Xiaomi makes. It does not have Bluetooth or an accompanying app. I brush my teeth fine for 30 years without an application. I don't think I need an application to monitor this. The replacement heads for it, at least here in Vietnam on AliExpress and Lazada, the replacement heads for this are very reasonably priced. One issue I had with my last toothbrush is that I couldn't readily find heads and so I had to not change them as often, which was kind of disgusting. Next thing that this toothbrush has is dual modes, which is nice for a more aggressive clean and a not so aggressive clean. It uses the Oral-B style of head, and I'll probably end up doing a follow-up video about whether or not you can use the Oral-B heads on this, because for people looking for a new toothbrush, things like that matter. Now, let's talk about the things that I really like about it. Um, the size is like really, really small. The battery life, now it claims 18 days of battery life. Um, really, if I can bring this on a two week trip with me somewhere without having to bring the charger, I'm happy with that. The thing that I absolutely love about this device is that it came with a carrying case for two heads and the charger for it is USB. Now, I know this is gonna seem kind of blown out of proportion, but the fact of the matter that the charger for this is super small, I can charge it off of a Xiaomi power bank is really, really nice, especially compared to my old toothbrush charger, which was a big regular plug style and was not this compact. So it's small, it's compact, it has a timer on it, it has modes, it does the job for brushing your teeth, it's IPX7 waterproof, so you can take it in the shower with you if you so choose. And on top of that, uh, at least here in Southeast Asia or in like, these more developing countries, the replacement heads for it are cheap and they are easy to find, which for me, that's a big priority. Changing your toothbrush heads should be a priority for everybody. And I think that if I have this device for two to three years, uh, it's going to exceed my expectations simply because my expectations for it are not that high. I, I just think this is like a regular inexpensive electric toothbrush and uh, the, you know, stuff like this gets dropped and stuff like that pretty often. I'm gonna definitely do a follow-up video um, like in a month or so about like my impressions using this, but I think that for like an entry-level electric toothbrush with easily findable heads, that's USB chargeable, that's compact for travel. I don't know if you could do much better than this, just from a design execution standpoint. Maybe something a little bit smaller, but still two weeks of battery life, it's pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like these off the wall Xiaomi reviews in the comment section down below? If you have questions about it, you can always hit me up on Twitter. And until next time guys, it's been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. Stay safe, peace.